Hello, my name is Robin Johnson and I'm the CEO of Marketplace Blueprint in Phoenix, Arizona. We're a marketing agency specializing in marketing on Amazon. In this lesson, we're going to go through what you need to do in order to open your Seller Central account. If you already have a Seller Central account active, you can skip to the next lesson. If not, be sure to check out the resources section after the course for links and further details. Setting up an account on Amazon is an easy process that should take less than 30 minutes. To prevent fraud and to maintain a, their commitment to customers, there are a few things that can cause Amazon to refuse or limit functionality of your new account. Before walking you through the setup process, let's go through a couple of quick points of caution. The first is you want to make sure you're avoiding duplicate accounts. Creating a duplicate account on Amazon can cause you to fail verification or even have both accounts suspended. If you've ever had a Seller Central account, even if it was years ago, even if you didn't sell anything, you should use that account. If you create a new account, it needs to have a new separate bank account, EIN, and utility bills for verification. In the resource section, there's a link to an article from Cynthia Stein at eGrowth Partners about opening a new account. Be sure to read that article before you open your Seller Central account. Enter account information that can be easily verified. As you enter your company information, make sure you're matching exactly what was on the documentation that you'll be using for the verification process. For Amazon, verify your identity. You may need to provide utility bills, credit card payments, or even do a video call. Creating your new Seller Central account. Make sure that the person who's creating your Amazon Seller account does not have a previous Seller Central account. Duplicate accounts will be closed will not potentially leave the company except for the sale of the entire entity, has access to a credit card for the $39.99 monthly fees, and can provide a utility bill or credit card bill for verification if it's required. Never let an agency create your Seller Central account with their email credentials. Always add them to, as a sub-user onto your account. After you've ensured that this new account will not be a duplicate and that you have the appropriate information to submit to Amazon for the verification process, if asked, you can go to www.sellercentral.amazon.com and click sign up. Amazon will walk you through the information needed to set up your Amazon account. Here are some common questions people ask when setting up their new account. Should I select the professional seller option? Yes, we will need that selection to use the tools and it's less expensive, assuming that you're getting 40 sales a month or more. What should I enter for the tax information? Please put the information for your business entity that you want to be taxed. It is possible to change your tax information afterwards. If you haven't formed an LLC yet, you can enter into your personal tax ID and change that at a later date. What address should I enter, home or business? The address that you enter will show on Amazon on your store page, so I recommend you use a business address. You cannot use a PO box or virtual mailbox. Can I use a debit card? We recommend using a credit card. At various points, Amazon has denied accounts that use debit-only cards for account creation. I need somebody else to have access to this account. We can set up user permissions for as many staff members as you need. Once your account is set up, we can begin adding sub-users. When adding vendors, make sure to never provide access to your bank account information. Hypothetically, it would be possible to change their distribution to send to their bank account instead of yours. Even if you trust the vendor, if they're reusing passwords or don't have two-factor authentication turned on, their access could be hacked. Simply follow the prompts and fill out all of the applicable fields, and at the end, you'll have a new Seller Central account. Remember, Amazon may hold funds while you're building seller history with them. You might also have to apply for approval for, to sell specific products or to make offers in specific categories. That's everything in this lesson for opening your Seller Central account. We hope that you found it valuable. Before opening your new account, take a few minutes to go over this article on account verification, then head over to Seller Central and review the different features of each selling plan. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet them to me directly at AMZ Robin Johnson or the professionals at SEM Rush Academy.